As they set up for the first Marysville Strawberry Festival in three years, vendors like Joe Solly find themselves between a rock and a hard place. Well, I hope there's enough for all the people who show up and want to have strawberries, so that would be nice. I mean, most of them are just totally green still. Cold, wet weather has pushed back the strawberry harvest this year by about two weeks. It should be peak season at Bailey Farm in Snohomish. Their five acres should be filled with people picking their own berries. Instead, the farm is closed, the fields empty, and you're lucky to find a single ripe berry. It, it's going to look like this at some point, but for now... Call this strawberry fields for later. It's going to be okay, um, but yeah, I mean, I wish we could be open now, but you just, you never know. This is something we started doing a while ago. Back at the Strawberry Festival, there will be few, if any, fresh strawberries on hand this weekend. There will still be plenty of strawberry shortcake, but it'll be made with frozen fruit. Then there's the matter of the weather. More cold and rain is expected, but after two years of COVID restrictions, vendors are simply happy to be here at all. You always learn a little bit more each time it rains. You just kind of move back into your tent a little bit and and uh, an extra cup of coffee. The festival has been a tradition in Snohomish County for 90 years. It's only been canceled twice. The other time was for World War II. And festival president Gail Frost says nothing is going to stop it this year. You can't stop the strawberry festival just because there's no strawberries. And it's not stopping these folks here today. You know, uh, the famous uh, strawberry shortcake that is sold here, it actually goes to benefit a scholarship program for deserving students here in this community. And organizers hoping that folks will still come out and brave the weather to help this good cause. Live in Marysville tonight, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.